everybody, how you doing? Uh, today we'll be carving a raccoon holding on to a tree. So it's relatively simple carving because the main parts are basically just a head and a paw, right? And everything else is just kind of a lump. So it, uh, it's a very simple carving. I uh, enjoy carving them. People love raccoons, right? Who doesn't love a little cute raccoon? As long as you make them cute, don't get me wrong. So the stuff I got is about, say, two foot, two and a half foot, you know, two feet strong. And it's uh, a little oblong, right? About a foot and a half across. And our first cut is gonna be about three inches in from the edge. We're going to go down a bar width, then we're going to angle it just the slightest bit. And then on this side, we're just going to kind of cut it down and go in and stop about halfway here. Alright, so here are our first four cuts we'd say. So you can kind of tell where the raccoon's going to be at this point already. You've got your head, this is his bum, that's the stump he's going to be on, his tail will be somewhere in here. We'll have an arm grabbing onto this tree, and there he goes. Right, so the next couple cuts are relatively simple as well. I'm going to turn this bad boy sideways. So we're going to find the immediate back of our carving and then we're going to cut him just at an angle kind of going down and then we're going to kind of make it uh, and join it up in the same area here. So we're just working on the back right now and while we're at it, we're going to go on to the other side and given with the material you have on your stuff, my stuff is about this thick back here, that's where uh, the tree is going to be, just grab your width turn it sideways and then you can immediately figure out how big of uh, a tree uh, you're going to have for the raccoon to be on. So for me that's going to be that. So I'm going to figure that out and I'm just going to flower the carving out on the side a little bit each way. Well that's going to be my tree. Growing up, parents got me a guitar Said you could do anything, kid, you could go far You could be the president, fireman, race cars The sky's the limit, kids, so shoot for the stars So I strum that guitar every day Found the passion for music, never went away I joined a couple bands and played a few shows Tried to impress the girl in the front row but soon enough, everything starts to change As you grow up, nobody treats you the same They try to take your future and make it real safe You could be a doctor, accountant, or something sane But yo, whatever happened to the sky was the limit I fell in love with music, never thought it was a gimmick I so What I did with the tree Is I had my lines on top Of where my tree was going to be and Then I put my saw in on an angle on those lines And I went all the way down and kind of flared it out And I did this on both sides I then went and put my saw in I just kind of went down a little bit. Now you can see I didn't go all the way. You can see where the bottom cut is here. I matched that up on the other side so this is his, the bottom of his body and I did that on the other side here too. So pretty much the same cuts all the way around. Now I've got my reference photos. I can go ahead and kind of figure out proportionately uh, pretty much just for the head, it's really important to, to get the head on point when you're doing this carving because the body's kind of just a lump, you can't really do much with it. But the head is important. You nail the head on this carving, everything else can be completely disproportionate and it'll look great, right? Okay? So what we're going to do first is we're going to dig out the ears. Now, his ears are relatively at the back. One third of the way in, you're going to cut a line and you're only going to go down about an inch and then you're going to cut out and then from there we can figure out the ears and then just start shaping the head uh, one third of the way in again we're going to go to about there and we're just going to angle that that way and angle it this way real good 
and we're going to do that angle all the way down to the bottom of the face and we're going to cut those pieces off and while we're there we're going to go around the sides here and we're just going to brush with the saw to kind of make it look like he's got a neck Next order of business is going to be angling the face down. Now if you look at your reference photos, the face on a raccoon, it kind of goes down to a snout and then it joins back up again. I'm going to cut that out real quick and uh, I think it's better if I show you the shape afterwards. Or if you have desires, a girl in your life is making you feel the fire. Go fight for her man, go die for her man, cause you only have one life, one chance to do it. One chance to prove it to yourself, so don't lose it. You got this fam, just keep pushing on through it. One day you'll look back so glad you pursued it. Alright, so to make this very simple, all I did was I just brushed down a little bit with the chainsaw bar. So the angle of the bar is the angle you want here. If I could show you that, all right, so that's the angle you're wanting. And then you've just gone down and in underneath here. And you didn't go too far in, it kind of lines up almost with the eyes. And then we just kind of went out. I, I can't stress it enough, look at your reference photos for this portion, because it is kind of complicated. But essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing up here, just on the sides. So it gives them that weird pointed look, all right? And while we're at it, we're gonna go do our ears and kind of round this portion off. All right, you probably noticed I drew a line on the middle and I suggest doing it because it keeps your carving uh, the center portion center. Um, in doing so though it actually shows you that my carving is more left to the to the right than it is to the left which is fine it doesn't need to be bang on but what I did up here with the bar you saw how I just kind of brushed it up here I've essentially just followed it all the way down and we've gotten this nice uh, kind of rounded edge going on here and that's what we want now for the bottom portion we're just gonna kind of come in with the saw on an angle here just to show the bottom of his face you can see on the face there it kind of goes in and it's got that line and it stops there and it gives a direction to the bottom of his face So we're going to focus on shaping out this big lump here and then his arm comes in after. And don't worry about the bottom, we aren't there yet. Very important you don't go too far in or else you cut off the tail. So just focus on rounding off this area. And we'll do that all the way around from this angle. It'll kind of look like it's coming in and going out. All right? Yeah. She's got some nice long hair and you know that she's a bad chick. All the boys there can't help it, it's a habit. Clothes that she wears. Raccoons have pretty skinny hands. So we just want to get the direction first. They'll just be kind of touching it. Be here, and then it'll join up over here. So once we got the direction, we can go ahead and make it a little thicker on both sides. And then we're just joining it into this lump here. Okay, so that's a really bad drawing, but it's really small. So we're just going to cut along this top line, cut along this bottom line, and then just do a little bit of thinning out inside of here. Alright, so for the next portion here, we're just going to be kind of working on the tail. So, get a general idea of where you want your tail to be. And we're just going to carve like a hot dog shape. And then, as we're carving the hot dog shape, we're not going to go too far back because there is a tree stump that will be in there. So let's get the tail out and then kind of, as we're going, eliminate everything else that isn't supposed to be there. See where it 
it's located underneath his buttock. I had a little boo-boo here, but that's okay. So just kind of carving a little bit of a hot dog shape. All right, so we're actually going to turn the carving around now, and we're going to find where the stump is going to be that he's sitting on, and we're going to make this quite robust, right? It's almost going to be the same size as your tree here. And we're simply just going to go in a little bit, and uh, it might help if you carve out your tail a little bit uh, behind. Just go in about an inch and a half just to uh, know where your tail is going to be. And then we're just going to kind of go in. She's got the devil's eyes and they'll cut you like a weapon. She's stuck in my mind like a bad obsession. She got bad intentions. She got a body like a cold thing. She likes to keep the party going. These rumors got me feeling lonely. I want that body, baby, show me. She's got a body like a cold thing. She likes to keep the party going. Uh, next portion is just kind of carving his bum out and his bum will define where the branch lays so just keep that in mind and then we're just going to thin everything down here. All right, at this point, we are done with uh, roughing out. As you can see, it's, you know, it's not too defined in the tail region, which uh, I imagine it'll be able to pop out once we add uh, a little bit of burning texture to it. Now, all that's really left is uh, just kind of detailing the tree, adding fur to the body, and then we'll uh, go into actually working on the face. Up, it felt so right. We were so young, we were so dumb. We would get drunk and then hook up. We were okay, we were all right. Staying awake till the sunrise. We were in love, couldn't stop us. Like a good drug, yeah. never run. We hook up in my car, drive it so far. All right, so as you, as you can see here, uh, the fur pattern just kind of goes down and around like where his leg would be right so just start from the top down and around goes all the way around like that until about his backside then it kind of switches into the other direction alright so for the face I'm gonna give you a close-up essentially all you're really gonna doing is is finding your eye holes right refer to your reference photos and we're just gonna dig in with the teardrop saber a uh, bit for the die grinder and we're going to narrow down his nose with the flap sand so for this portion all I can really suggest is lots of reference photos take it slow uh, and once you get your eyes uh, in place just by making those two y'all you'll see everything will kind of just flow into and how careless we could be 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 Nights, long fights, it felt right, we were alive We would go out, we were so loud, we were so proud, we had no doubts Weekends and weekdays, we'd spend our own way We were careless, we were fearless, we were reckless Time was precious. We love to waste time, whiskey and wine, drinking all night, asleep by your side.
Alright, so it's quite a funny looking thing at this point. Uh, until you really put the detail with the, the burn on the eyes there, it kind of looks funny. Um, for the arm, I'm just simply going to do uh, a couple lines here and then I'm going to use the chainsaw or uh, actually the die grinder with that bit to, to make all kinds of fur coming down. Alright, so I'm going to throw some detail on there right click. As you can see I just made a couple fingers really quick and then just made some lines down the side. And for this carving, that amount of detail is kind of acceptable. Uh, we're going to go ahead and burn it now and uh, I'll give you a quick time lapse of that. How I do the tail, well I'm going to sand everything one time, and how we do the tail is you use a piece of uh, wood and you'll just block it and only allow a certain amount to get burned. You'll see when. So I'm gonna do a little bit of burning on him next. Uh, just gonna give him that little bandit look on his eyes and his nose. And then I'm gonna go underneath the parts that kind of need to be defined, like under his arm, underneath uh, his bum, uh, around where he is on the tree. And then I'll do the tail with those stripes on him. Alright, so my other camera died, I don't know how much of that was recorded, but you got the tail portion of it done. What I did was I basically bounced the flame off a piece of wood so it hits it and it comes out straight in a sense, if that makes sense. And the face is a mess right now, so I'm going to grab my finger sander, and if you don't have a finger sander, you kind of stuck with just using a piece of sandpaper on your finger. So I'm going to grab the finger sander and just tidy everything up and give him his final look. All right, and there you have it. Your finished raccoon carving. Keep in mind you can do your burning on the face however you like. All right. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. I hope you liked the video. Um, for next week, not too sure what I'll be doing. Uh, most likely just doing a time lapse uh, because I will be heading out on vacation uh, for about a week at the end of the month so I won't have time to upload videos or I won't have the time actually to, to make a full out tutorial. So most likely just going to be an eagle time lap. Keep your eye out for that. If you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with all my other uploads. Uh, leave a comment down below uh, for a carving you want to see me do. Um, I've had a couple requests come in that I'll be doing in the near future. Um, and like always, keep on carving.